was, then he pushes Jesus. Wait a minute. So Jesus is second place. Mm. Scriptures say here in 2 Timothy chapter 3. But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of self. This is self-worship. And in order for it to jive and to be okay with them, they got to literally make God self-worship. That he's only glorifying himself. Self-worship. God is selfish. <sighs> Oh, okay, okay, all right. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, Brother Brian, no problem. And I don't have an issue with it, you know. If you wanna, if you wanna do that, you co-host, you know, you're more than welcome to. No, I was just telling you, uh, the guy that's in the uh, chat, he deals with oneness all the time. He be in there, uh, uh in them Trinitarian groups, they deal with oneness all the time, man. Woo, mm -hmm. woo. I can just imagine the things that they say to him. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome to the platform, uh, beloved brother uh, Ken. Uh, God bless you and welcome, and, and thank you so much for contending in the faith of Jesus Christ. Uh, I, 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 again, the Bible has told you that this is going to happen and they're going to put on a form of godliness and while they're doing all of this, the love of money, mm, Nabal TV, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful and unholy, unpeasable, heartless, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen in conceit, lovers of, of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Uh, 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 and then have an appearance of godliness, a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, avoid such people. These, and notice what Paul starts out with, they are what? They're going to be lovers of self. That's one of the reasons why. That's just one of the reasons why they flock to the oneness God, the oneness doctrine. Like a, a, a moth to the, like a moth to a flame, right? Uh, then no problem, Brother Brian, I sure will. Uh, that, that's why they flock to this oneness doctrine like a moth to a flame because their God matches their attitude. Their God matches what's in their heart. Their God, remember what I told you, you become what you worship. I told y'all that some time ago. Listen, I'm not saying that to say I told you so, but I'm just reminding you of what has been said by me and Brother Brian, that these people are idolatrous and they claim to be holy. I'm not just only hitting the oneness Pentecostal cult. I'm hitting all of the occults that you probably have ran across, like Islam. Islam is what? <laughs> it's self-worship. Have you looked at the Quran and how much sexual tendencies is in that thing as well as the Hadiths? Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Lovers of self. They're not worshiping the one true God. They're worshiping a demon. Who got these, these, these attributes going on that you see here in 2 Timothy chapter 3? And, and I'm not just talking about here in the land of the living. I'm talking about where this spirit come from. Who teaching them this? What spirit are they embracing? Oh, family, listen, 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 listen. I... I know some of y'all might be rattled. Some of y'all might be stern. Some of y'all is like, what in the what? And all responses is okay with me. 
It's when you ain't got no response. That's why I'm side-eyed looking at you like, what's wrong with you? Can't you see it? Can you hear it? These people are off. and They're not worshiping the one true God because, listen, God is love, but a oneness God ain't got no love. Who he gonna love before the world, earth was even formed and all of that other stuff? Who was God loving? Himself? Make it make sense. All right? So I wanna carry you back over here because Steve Anderson gonna say some more stuff. All right? He gonna give you the other part to this equation. You might wanna listen carefully. Here we go the son it's just god loving himself that's the god that they believe in it's a perfect god for them and they also don't love understand the love of a parent for a child you know when we look at the scriptures teaching that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world and, and how that was such a great sacrifice because obviously we love our children more than we love ourselves i mean if if one of us has to go die for someone else you know we would be much more ready to volunteer ourselves than to send our son. Sending our son would be harder. Why? Because we love our children. Now, the modalist scoffs at that and makes fun of that and says like, oh yeah, you know, the father's up in heaven. Like, okay, one of us has to go down there and die for the world. All right, you go, son. Yeah, you go ahead and go, son. You know, see, a person who actually loved their child would realize that it was actually harder to send your son than to go yourself. Okay, we'd, we'd prefer to go ourselves and suffer and die than to send our children to suffer and die because we love our children. No, the true story is that God the Father couldn't die on the cross for us because God the Father is not a man. That's why the Bible says God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. But Jesus is called what? Man, and he's called the son of man. So when it says God is not a man, God's not the son of man, who are we talking about? God the Father. Jesus Christ is the son of man. In fact, that's his most common appellation in the New Testament. He's called over and over again, the son of man. The Son of Man. The Son of Man. Okay. So, God the Father can't die on the cross for us because he's not a man. It's Jesus who is man. Okay. The Holy Spirit can't be crucified for us. It's Jesus who was the only person who could be that sacrifice. The Father had to send the Son to be the Savior of the world. That was the way it had to be. So that's what happened. And oh, the love that drew salvation's plan. I mean, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and he sent his son into the world that through him the world might be saved. The modalists don't understand that. Why? Because they don't have love because love is of God and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. So these reprobates, they have self-love and that's why their fake modalist Jesus is a lover of his own self which the Bible condemns in the last days, men shall be lovers of their own selves. Well, the Jesus that these people are following is a lover of his own self. The Jesus that I believe in, which is another Jesus, is the Jesus that the Father loved before the foundation of the world. You know, these modalists, they even say that we have another Jesus. Well, they're right. We do have a different Jesus than modalists. Those who believe in the Trinity have a different Jesus. We have the biblical Jesus. We have the Jesus of the Bible, and they have an antichrist, a substitute for Jesus. Now, here's another reason why modalism is so popular. Not only because these people are lovers of their own selves, self-glorifying, very prideful, arrogant people, people who are ego-driven, but not only that, they're people who have a problem with authority. And that makes sense, because think about what the Trinity teaches. The Trinity teaches that the son submits to the father. He's in subjection to the father. But when you preach about that and say that you know the son is in obedience to the father, he is subject unto the father, he delivers up the kingdom of the father, you know, their response is, you have a weak Jesus. You That's why they got a problem with the Trinity. Because the son shows complete obedience to the father. 
letting you know that there's a relationship there. You, you, you can't obedience to yourself. No, that that's not no relationship, right? You can do whatever the heck you want to do. It's just you. It's nobody else. Who are you in submission to? Nobody in the oneness doctrine. He said, key word, authority. Family, here's the thing. And I told you, the gospel is offensive to these people. The other part of this equation that's offensive to them, uh, to these people is the authority of Jesus Christ. That the son has authority. Brother Brian, you just got through reading some passages showing the authority that the son has. They got a problem with that. Yeah, I mean, that's, they don't see. And I figured it out a long time ago. Basically, mm -hmm. in a simple term, they don't want to listen to the sun. So therefore, oh. they reject the sun. A lot of times, a lot of times you see, I mean, someone is the, but a lot of them always go back to the Old Testament law and start saying, well, you know, you're saved, you got to do this and this and this and this and this and this and this to be saved. It's like, wait a minute. Either you're saved when he died for your sins or you're not. Right. But that redemptive work, they offended by the redemptive work that Jesus Christ did. Notice, Brother Brian, they always got to find some way to attach themselves to that redemptive work. The gospel of Jesus Christ, they can't let it stand alone. They got to find some kind of way where they can boast. Bro, am I tweaking here? Nope. What is all of this? Well, you got to know that you Israel. Well, you got to know that you a Jew. Well, you got to know that you're holy. Well, you got to do the law. Well, you got to have this. You know, faith without works is dead. They And they abuse the hell out look, of that. Look, look, look what you, that, that, that verse right there. Uh-huh. Does it ever say works before faith? No. So faith Produce, not 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 just a, a simple faith, but a believing faith, a living faith, an ongoing faith. Produces good works. That's right. Not works produces faith. It's opposite. It never says works produce faith. It says That's faith right. produce works. So if you don't have faith, if you don't believe in Jesus, the works are not going to follow. But the problem is they want to make these works what they want to make. That's the problem.